Hey guys, this is Brian over at Obedi, and I'm going to show you today how to set up your Euphonics Artist Series controllers with Motu's Digital Performer 5 Digital Audio Workstation. Digital Performer 5 does not natively talk to Yukon, the software that Euphonics has designed to talk to digital audio workstations. That started with the P6. But we can still use our Euphonics devices with Digital Performer 5, and this can be a little mystifying on how to set it up. So I'm going to show you guys how to do it today. So the first, most, the first thing that I need to do is I need to go into my system preferences. So I'm going to click on the Apple icon, click on system preferences. This opens up the system preferences for my Mac. Now I'm going to go down and click under the other heading on the Euphonics icon. Now this is the Euphonics control window and this is where I drag and drop applications that I want to be controlled by Yukon that are not natively Yukonized. So, what I need to do now is go into my Finder, find my Digital Performer 5 application file that I used to launch Digital Performer, drag and drop that into the Euphonics window. Now you're going to notice that I have another application set up, so it sets itself to talk to MIDI ports 5 through 8. Now there's something very important I need to do here though, and that is looking at the protocol pull down, I need to click here and select Mackie Control. Mackie Control is the protocol that Digital Performer 5 will talk to Yukon with, so you got to make sure and do that. So once I've done that, we're going to click on Show All. And this is going to ask the system to restart for me, and, I'm, and that's important because when it restarts, it's going to set everything up to talk directly to Yukon and things like that. I'm just going to go ahead and skip that for right now. So now that I have done that, the next thing that I need to do is I need to go into my Audio MIDI setup. Audio MIDI setup is accessed through the applications, and then I click on Utilities, and under Utilities, I double click on Audio MIDI Setup. So in Audio MIDI Setup, you're going to notice that I have a device here already called Euphonics MIDI. This is the MIDI device that uh, Yukon uses to talk to any and all uh, MIDI available digital audio workstations on my Mac, but it's not going to talk to Digital Performer 5 yet. What I need to do is I need to add a device. So I'm going to go up and I'm going to click on the Add Device button. So when I click on that, this is going to create a new external device. So now I'm going to double click on that new external device and this opens up the external device properties window. I'm going to give this a name and just call it Yukon DP5. That way I can differentiate it. Then under the Manufacturer pull down, I need to click on that and I need to scroll down and select Mackie. Then from the Model pull down, I need to click again and select Mackie Control. So now, this is all very important because what this is going to do is set me up so that the Mackie control protocol will be used to make Yukon talk to Digital Performer 5. So now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to select the MIDI channels that I want for this new device to talk on. Now you'll remember that when I dragged and dropped the DP5 application file into the Euphonics window, it said that it was going to talk on channels 5 through 8. So I'm going to select channels 5, 6, 7, and 8. And I just need to click on those. They'll become highlighted. Receives, I can go ahead and leave everything highlighted, and that shouldn't be a problem. When I'm all done with that, I'm going to hit Apply, and this window is going to stay open, so I need to close it by hitting the red X. And now there's something very important that I need to do. I need to wire up this external device to the Euphonics MIDI device. So I'm going to do that by clicking on the little arrow that comes out of the Euphonics MIDI device. I'm just going to start on the one that's furthest to the left. So I'm going to pull from there, and you'll notice that as I pull, a little cable shows up. So from the out, I'm going to pull that and, select, and drag it over to the in on this DP5 device that I created. You'll notice they're wired up now. Now from the out on that DP5, I'm going to drag it, and I'm going to drop it onto the Phonics MIDI in. So now what this has done is it's wired up these devices so that they are connected and talking directly to each other. So that's a very important step. You have to make sure and do that, otherwise that's not going to work. I'm going to go ahead and click on Rescan MIDI now. Sometimes it's good to just rescan MIDI. It just wakes everything up. Because you'll notice that I do have a lightly colored MIDI device here, my Personas Firebox. That's because it's not connected right now. But if by some chance my Euphonics MIDI device was this same light color, if I hit Rescan MIDI, that would probably wake everything up. So now that I'm all done with that, I can just quit uh, my audio MIDI setup. Now I have one final thing that I need to do. I need to go ahead and go into Digital Performer. I'm going to click on Setup and I'm going to scroll down and click Control Surface Setup. Now you'll notice here there's the option that says Listen to Control Surfaces in Background. I'm going to leave that selected. And the most important thing that I'm going to do here is I'm going to click on the little plus sign. 
Now, when I click on that, the first thing you're probably going to see under driver is Yukon. Now, unfortunately, we can't use Yukon in Digital Performer 5, but if I click on that and scroll down to Mackie Control, that's going to tell D Digital Performer 5 that I want to use the Mackie Control driver. Now, under Unit, I'm going to leave Mackie Control selected, and then under MIDI, this is very important, I'm going to go to Yukon DP5. This is the device that I created under Audio MIDI Setup and I'm going to scroll over and I can just select DP55. Now once I've done that all I need to do is click on OK and what this is going to do is it's going to wake up all of my Euphonics Artist Series controllers and it should make them start talking directly to the mixer and any other available options that I have in Digital Performer. Now you won't immediately see everything work and that's only because Mackie Control is slightly limited uh, if a program is natively Yukonized, it has many more options for being able to be used with the Euphonics Artist Series controllers, but you will be able to control faders and things like that, and that's very important for when you're using these control surfaces. I hope that this has been useful to you guys. As always, you can get in touch with me at brian at obedia.com, and you can always find me on Twitter at twitter.com forward slash obediatutor. Until next time, happy music making. Hey, you. Hey, you.